All this moving ice is making me dizzy. I can't tell which way I'm going. Captain, come in, Cap. We've lost radio contact with the Gup E, Quasi, but they should be around there. Keep looking. Oh, I've searched everywhere for them, but all I've found down here is ice, ice, and more ice. What was that? It sounded like the captain's accordion music. Shiver me whiskers. It's not Captain Barnacles at all. It's the orcas. Maybe they can help. Hey, look! Quasi! I heard your orca songs. I thought it was Captain Barnacles. Captain Barnacles? We just left him and Peso a little while ago. Aye, but they never made it home. The Gup E crashed, and now they're lost somewhere in the ice. Oh, no, 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 oh dear. Don't worry, Quasi. We orcas will help you find them. Huh? <laughs> Oh no, the ice is breaking in two. Peso, jump! Yeah. <sighs> 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 Hang on! <sighs> Whoa! <sighs> We've got to stay with the gun. Jump again! <sighs> <sighs> Oh! Peso, use me as a bridge. Yes! Gotcha! Phew. Yeah, we've looked everywhere for him down here. Hey, what about spy hopping? Spy hopping? What's that? Spy hopping is how we look around up above the water. Yeah, watch me, Quasi. Well, I'm no walker, but I'll give it the old pirate try. Close. Let's get inside that tent and war 
Bomber. All right, Quilty. We'd all be icicles if it weren't for this tent, Peso. I hope Mum and Dad are all right. How will they make it back in this storm? Don't worry. Captain Barnacles will bring them home. And nothing can stop the captain, matey. <laughs> under the ice and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish. Narwhals are whales and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> found a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. Da, please hurry, old friend. We're feeling very weak. Ah, it's caught on something. Ah, ah. Yes, that did it. Ah, ah. There it is. <gasps> Ah, uh, thank you. Much better. Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice. Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. Not even a crack. Let's bring in the drill. We will need the Gup D. <laughs> All right, Cap. I'll have them out of there faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Novels, back away as far as you can. It's real stuck. That ice is just too thick. Everything stops spinning. Easy does it. Oh no, the breathing tube. Oh, it is no use. We're back where we started, and we will soon need air again. We're not giving up on you, Boris. Octonauts, we've tried the guts, but we need something even stronger to break through this ice, and we need it now. Captain, we could melt the ice with a blowtorch. Good idea, but it would take too long. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we're getting close to the Gup B. Towing her back home should be an easy job. Aye, no trouble at all. <gasps> Look at that! Jumping jellyfish! It's a giant kelp forest. Hmm, the Gup Finder shows that the Gup B must be somewhere inside the kelp forest. We'll have to go in and look for her. Quasi, you go... Oh. Quasi? Oh. Let's go, Shellington. Amazing. Giant kelp is the tallest plant under the sea. It stretches up and up so the kelp leaves can reach the sun. Just like a forest on land, a kelp forest is a home for lots of different creatures. It won't be easy to find the gup bee in a kelp forest this big. But according to the gup finder, we're close. This way. Wow. 
Whoa! Watch out! There's a big orange shark in the forest. Orange shark? Hold on. That must be the gut bee. Come back here. Hey, what did you say about seeing a big orange shark? I saw it zoom into the forest. That's all. And this is my hiding place, so go away. Is this what you saw, matey? <gasps> yes. Oh, I can't look. Those big teeth make me nervous. Aye, matey, but they aren't real teeth. I painted them. Look. <laughs> stand back or else. Uh, Quasi, you better stand back because... Because what? <gasps> yeah! uh, 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 he's called a swell shark. When he feels threatened, he swallows enough water to swell up like a balloon and then... Yes, I know what happens then, Shellington. Look, now we're even closer to the gut bee. I'm coming for you, gut bee! Yeah. Hey, what's happening, guys? A shovel-nosed guitar fish! Oh, no. Does this one spit as well? No. He mostly hides under the sand. I knew that. We're looking for our lost gup. It's called the gup bee, and it's bright orange. Have you seen it? <clears throat> our gup finder shows that it should be right around here. But we can't find it. Hello, Boris. Barnacles? <laughs> what a surprise. It's good to see you, old friend. It's good to see you, too. I've known Boris ever since I was a cub. Yes, he was quite something, this bear. Always a leader, even as a young cub. But what are you doing inside all this ice? Our engines have frozen. We could really use your help getting out of here, old friend. But of course. My tusk is very, very good at telling if things are warm or cold. I can lead you out of the ice and into warmer, open water. Thank you, Boris. Now, we just have to work out how to get the ship moving again. Yep, the Arctic engines are frozen solid. In that case, I'm going to need to change gups. Tweak, prepare the gup C. Okay, everyone, here we go. Arr! One more time. there. Oh no, I don't believe it. Another solid wall of ice. Allow me, my friend. What's he doing? Using his tusk to feel how thick the walls are. Remarkable. As I thought, is always one place where the ice is thinnest. <coughs> You better swim aside, old friend. Thank you, Boris. You're very welcome, old friend. Temperatures are returning to normal, sir. And the engines are starting back up. Good work, Octonauts. So, now that we're free, who'd care to join me for a nice little icy water swim? Uh, gotta go clean up the launch bay. Uh, uh, no thanks. I've got to um, polish my spyglass. Yes, and I have to, um, uh, clean up the lab. Yes, that's it. Who, who, who are you? Boo! Oh, you scared me. I'm sorry, you asked who I am. Yes, I did. So, who are you? Boo! Uh, will you please stop doing that? Stop what? Scaring me. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. Well, okay. So, what's your name? Boo! Uh, Boo! 
Boo. <laughs> Told ya! According to the Gup Finder, the Gup E stuck right around here, inside that trench. Cap, our Gup won't fit in there. She's right. Tweak, you wait here. We may need that tow line. Quasi and I are going in. Hey! Wanna play a game? Now? Oh, uh, why not? It's called I Spy With My Little Eye. One of us looks around and says the first letter of what we see, and the other one has to guess what it is. It is kind of dark down here, but OK. I Spy With My Little Eye. Something beginning with... P. Is it... A penguin! No. Plankton? No. Uh... Oh, I give up. What is it? A polar bear! Oh, OK, my turn. I spy with my little... A polar bear? That polar bear is Captain Barnacles and Quasi. They've come to rescue me. Peso, are you OK? Aye, Captain. I got stuck down here when the guppy's battery died, but I'm fine. And who's that wee little guppy with you? Oh, this is my new friend. Shiver me whiskers! What manner of wild ocean beastie is this? I'm not a beastie. My name is Boo. I'm a spookfish. We can see right up through our heads. Aye, aye. Tweak, we're going to need that tow line. You got it, Cap. Let's hook it to the gup and pull her out of here. <clears throat> OK, lift her up. Steady, Tweak. 